when we first started uh, in the 1990s, this project, it was at a time where the world was not well connected with China and China was not well connected with the world. Many countries did not know China and did not have confidence in China. That was in the 1990s. So Suzhou Industrial Park was not just an industrial park per se. It is a symbol of our commitment, Singapore government's, Singapore's commitment to work with China to develop something that allows China to connect with the world for the world to build confidence with China. Okay. So that is fundamental. So it's not about what we want to do, what they want to do. It's what we can find common ground to do together. Right? There's no point for us to propose any project, whether it's the third one or the fourth one or the fifth one, unless both sides see mutual benefits and both sides can draw on each other's respective strengths. The spirit of being able to pilot and test out new things uh, whether from the early days of Suzhou until today when we talk about the frontiers of the green economy, the digital economy or the uh, care economy in terms of the healthcare, uh, biopharmaceuticals. I think those are examples of how we can continue to value add to the relationship and both sides can continue to pioneer and learn from this. We never go into China on the basis of short-term uh, benefits and gain. We go into China on the basis of building a long-term relationship to seek mutual long-term benefits. So there will be ups and downs uh, in China across the last 30 years and there will continue to be ups and downs in China in the next 30 years and more. We are neither bullish nor bearish. We are neither optimistic nor pessimistic. We are realistic about China's potential and challenges. China is a very big country. Even in the best of times, there will be challenges. But even in the worst of times, the most challenging of times, there will also be opportunities. And our role, our job, is to look at China not as a monolithic entity, but to look at China and the different parts of China to understand their different needs, their different concerns, their challenges, their opportunities, so that we can come up with viable ideas to work with them. <laughs>